Hello everyone. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss that how you can create the setup and tear down method from script mode. So first of all, let me create one more folder called setup tear down. And inside this, I will add a test case called setup tear down. So I'm going to copy some of the step from the test case that is verify element text and paste it to our current test. And let me remove the first and the last. So delete. I will switch back to the script mode. Now, in order to create the setup and tear down method in the script mode, first we need to define a method. And in Java, you can define the method as void, which represents the return type. Okay, let me put a signature like this. So return type, then name of method, then in the open and close bracket arguments, it can have single and it can have multiple, then open and close curly braces. So this is the signature of the method inside the Java. So currently we are not returning any value. So the default return type will be void. Then we need to provide the name of the method. So let me call it as setup method. And again, I'm not supplying any argument. So I will keep this as an empty. Then open and close curly braces. So once this is done, now in order for the Catalan Studio to understand this is a setup method, you need to provide the annotation. And the annotation will come from the package. That is this one. So this is an API documentation we, which you can get online at this URL and it contains the signature and the package structure of the setup and tear down method. So I'm going to import this package. So here I will use import package name dot setup. Okay, this is the annotation. And here I will use that annotation as at the rate setup. So under this, I will use my custom keyword dot login into application with and after that I will just print a random string at the console out dot println. So this is the function which we use for printing the string at the console. So this is setup method. And the reason why I'm putting my login into the application inside the setup method because that is my pre prerequisite for the test to start. Now I will switch back to the manual mode. So you can see here a method is added with this two statement. Similarly, you can create the method for tear down. So void tear down. And in this Again, I will use this method to print the string at the console. So this is tier down method. And after that, we will log out from the Bugzilla application. So custom keyword dot log out from application. As we know that the setup and tier down are independent of the outcome of the test case execution. So that's why it's better to put your resource initialization and clean up under the setup and tear down method. And again, we need to use the annotation that is tear down. So same import. And this will be tear down. So at the rate tear down. So I'm going to put a breakpoint over here and here navigate to the manual mode. So this is the setup and tear down method and run this script in a debug mode. So it has hit the debug point. So I will do the step over. 
which will launch the browser and login inside the Bugzilla application. Okay. Then I will continue with the execution. So now if you look at it, the console. So this is from the setup method. Again, I will do a step over. So this is tear down method and continue with the execution. Okay. So the execution is over. If I look at the log, the outcome of the test case is fail. And this is because of our, the 10th step. As you can see here, the tear down method got executed. And from the log, you can see the tear down method. Now in the similar manner, you can add the other tear down method. That is tear down on failure, tear down on error and tear down on pass. So I will create void tear down on fail void tear down on pass and void tear down on error okay so we need to use the annotation just like we use for the setup and tear down. So you have tear down if error, tear down if failed, and similarly tear down if passed. So at the rate tear down. If failed, add the rate tier down if pass and add the rate tier down if error. So as we know that when our test case got failed, it's better to take the screenshot. So I will use a string variable here. String path equal to web UI dot take screenshot. Okay. And I'm going to display the location of the screenshot. Screenshot. Similarly, I will use just, I'm going to display the string in this two method. So this is tear down method on pass, tear down method on error. Put a breakpoint here, here as well as here and run this script in a debug mode. So the first method is the setup method. I will continue with the execution. So as there is a failure, so first the tear down on fail method will get execute. So step over, it will take the screenshot and display the location. Okay. Then we will continue with the execution. Then after that tear down method will get executed. Okay. And continue with the execution. So as our test case outcome is 
fail that's why the teardown method on pass will not get executed as well as there is no error that's why the method that is tear down on, on error will not get executed. So in this manner you can create the setup and tear down method from the script mode. And if I switch back to the manual mode, you can see these are the methods. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.